Whoa, okay. Hi! Oh, that was aggressive. Well, hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm very handsy today, so just FYI. I am finally back from my Alaskan cruise and it's been a couple of weeks. I've been meaning to film this video, but I just haven't gotten a chance to do it. And I figured today I'm wearing makeup. I'm really, really warm, so I'm wearing a sleeveless ensemble. But um, it's high time to show you my Alaskan vacation haul. So just to give a little backstory, my mom, myself, and my aunt went on a princess cruise and we took the cruise from Vancouver up to Alaska and we were on the boat for several days and then we also did a land tour or a land cruise, I believe it is. Did that from Anchorage up to Fairbanks and we spent a lot of time in uh, Denali, that national park area, and uh, it was really, really fun. So I figured let's show you all the fun things that I got. They're not going to be in any particular order because there's so many little random things that I just don't have the willpower to organize it properly. So let's get into this. First thing is from Princess Cruise Lines itself. Um, this is just a little, you know, cup that uh, I got at the gift shop and my mom got the same one as well but it was nice to put like our water or soda or whatever we were drinking in there I actually even on the top of them my mom got the same color it's hard to see but I took a marker and I wrote my name on it and I wrote her name on hers as well so we would know whose is whose because we drink different things at one of the stops and I'm not gonna remember where I got all this stuff guys I'm sorry but it was mostly gift shops along the way I did find this it's by ace USA crafting tape there's three rolls and it's like washi tape it's really really cool um, it's hard to see but this is just kind of like a nature one there is some like northern lights and then also this one which you might be able to see a little bit better this way has like totem poles and then it says Alaska on it as well so I'm very excited for this I haven't actually gone into my planner and post planned things in there yet but I will be doing that very very soon I also got this magnet that is like a watercolor Alaska sorry about the glare y'all Woohoo! and I know I'm gonna get questions on my nail color I will put it in the links down below for you guys I know it's an Essie brand I just painted them yesterday I can't remember the name of it I also got Got this really cute reusable bag and it's got like little moosey friends all over it and it says Alaska on there so I'm gonna actually gonna put this in my car um, I do shop at Aldi a lot which requires reusable bags and um, you know I like using reusable bags when I can also I got a little Christmas ornament my mom got a ton of Christmas ornaments if you guys watch the vlogs which I will put the playlist up here somewhere the actual travel starts at day 19 uh, just to let you know in my balloon series but um this is like a little cute like little husky dog for the Iditarod and um, I just thought he was he or she was really cute kind of looks like a Doyle dog but not a Doyle dog and it definitely goes with like the colors of my tree if you guys follow me followed me <sighs> I can't talk today. Uh, if you guys followed me in December, uh, you would have seen my tree is like neutral, like everything else in my life. Also, I found these really, really cute dog cookie cutters. Like how cute is that? It's got even got like little Doyle ears and the little Doyle turned up tail. And then this is like a little mini version. So they're like two little versions. I just thought these were so incredibly cute and I had to obviously purchase them. And now I have to actually make cookies because I got cookie cutters, but I don't have any cookies. Time for cookies. And then I got like a bazillion and one Alaska stickers. So I'm just gonna go through them like really quick and just kind of burp, burp, burp them because there's not any real rhyme or reason. I just got a bunch of them. I am going to hopefully be using uh, a bunch of these in the post planning for my Alaska trip. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to just like show you guys what I found. I actually got all of these in the, um, like mostly in gift shops. So there were a couple that I found just like randomly other places, but they're usually like on the counter in gift shops. So um, yeah, but I think these are so cool. And there's some duplicates as well, but that's all right. Uh, I figured whatever I don't use, maybe I can, keep for if I ever go back to Alaska you never know um but yeah like when you're there I just feel like 
there's so, so much to see. And there's just, I don't know, it's just kind of a, such a neat place. And even if you go like twice in a row, you're never ever gonna have the same exact experience. So, um, so yeah, but I just got a bunch of these things and I feel like this is like getting redundant, but it doesn't matter. I got all these ones. And then the two in the little baggies I actually got at um, like a local Ace Hardware store at one of our stops. So yeah. And then I've got some two bigger ones. I got two big ones. But those are all of the stickers that I got. And then I got kind of more as like a memory keeping thing, this lanyard that says Alaska on it with like a little thingy. And um, I figured I would show you all of the pins that I got. My mom got a ton of pins as well. She got way more than I did. Got this one that says Fairbanks on it. This one is from the Red Dog Saloon. And this one is a totem pole. I also got another one that just says Alaska on it. And this one says Moose Crossing. And then here's another Alaska with a glacier. And then moving on to the other side, I've got a couple Denali's right at the bottom here. So this is one of the Denali ones. I've got another one that says Denali National Park. Um, this one here is another moose with some moosey tracks. And then there's an Alaska state, a little drunk right now, there it goes. <laughs> there's an Alaska state right there. A little pin that says I Heart Alaska. Another little license plate that says Alaska. And this says Alaska at 40 below. There was like this 40 below experience. Basically you went into like a meat locker and stood there and took a picture. We didn't actually buy the pictures, um, but we did the experience. So I figured I'd get a little pin. And then the last one is a little um, pin that says Skagway and it's got the little choo-choo train on there. And we did use, or not use, we rode on a train when we were in Skagway. So that is it for that. Let's talk about clothing. I got a couple of items, so I wanted to share with you. Um, I got this shirt. Um, I'm just gonna kinda like show you the graphics on the shirt, cause that's like what everybody wants to see. So I got this shirt. It just says Land of the Midnight Sun, Alaska. And let me tell you, it was the Land of the Midnight Sun because the sun did not go down when we were on land. It was like sunset, I think, it was at like 11:30 at night but then like sunrise was at like i don't know two in the morning so it like never really got dark ever so that was interesting um i also have this shirt here that says denali alaska with a little bear in the middle yeah it's a bear yeah it's a bear i had to like think about it it's a bear y'all it's a bear and this one's kind of fun this actually like looks like a beer label i think but i don't know i kind of like it though um, so here we go. Here's what it says. It just says Alaska, the last frontier. Um, but yeah, it doesn't look like a beer label. I think it looks like a beer label. I think that's cool though. And you guys know me, I'm like usually in a gray top. This is a weird day for me because I'm wearing like black instead. But um, I'm usually in a gray top and uh, this is all the things that I would normally wear on a daily basis anyway. They just tend to now say Alaska on them. I also got this shirt that has a bear on it and just says Alaska. This was actually on clearance and it was only like five bucks or something. And I was like, I think I need that, especially for $5. So yeah. And then I got two different sweatshirts. Uh, like I said before, we flew into Vancouver and we started in Vancouver uh, cruising and then we went up to Alaska from there. I had a devil of a time trying to find a souvenir shop in Vancouver. I was thinking about it as we left the airplane in Vancouver, like walking to customs thinking, oh, I should stop at a gift shop and get some like Canada stuff. And I didn't stop and once we were at the hotel, then I was like, well, where do we go to find Vancouver or Canada stuff? So anyway, long story short, we finally found it. Um, I think it was Grand Granville, Grainville, Granville Gifts, I think is what we found. Um, that was close enough to our hotel. So I got this hooded sweatshirt. It actually has like on the hood, the little like Canada maple leaf, which is super cute. And then um, there was two different kinds of sweatshirts like this. One said Vancouver and one said Canada. So I decided to go with Canada. Da, 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 da. 
Um, but yeah, it's got a little maple leaf and then it says true and strong. And this is all embroidered. And then I did get an Alaska sweatshirt and you guys know me, I love my gray. I can't, like anything that's gray or black, you know, it's like totally up my, my alley. But this is just a regular crew neck. It doesn't have a hoodie, but it just has Alaska in gray and I love it. And it's just super plain, but it's definitely my jam. So yeah, love this. I've worn it a couple, actually I wore it in Alaska, but I haven't worn it here since it's been very warm in Minnesota. But yeah, those are all of the things that I ended up getting in Alaska as souvenirs. You will probably be seeing me wear some of this stuff, maybe use some of this stuff in the future, or see some of these things around my house. You just never know. I tried not to buy a ton of stuff. I know I have a lot of like little things, so like the pins and all the stickers, like I know it's a lot, but I tried not to buy a lot of like big things. Um, I was definitely gonna be buying some t-shirts and sweatshirts and I knew that and I kind of packed appropriately for that, but um, I didn't want to buy like big things, you know, and try to ship it home. I'm really happy with all the things that I purchased and the things that I found and I'm looking forward to using some of them in my normal daily life. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Also, if you guys would like to see a video on my cruise experience, um, I did go with Princess Cruise Lines. That's who my mom and aunt chose as our cruising destination. No, not destination, partner, I don't know. It's just who we used. Um, if you guys wanna know any more in-depth questions about Princess Cruises and my experience, let me know down below. And then if you have specific questions, let me know too, and I will um, maybe make a video. I've gotten a lot of questions as to, can you tell me more about the cruise? What was the experience like? Did you enjoy it? What were positives? Were there any negatives? Uh, what was the land cruise like? Was it just like the boat cruise? Like different things like that. So if you have questions, let me know down below. Also give the video a thumbs up if you want to see that video. It just lets me know that you guys want to actually see that video. And if you don't, that's okay too. I don't need to film it. But um, if enough of you say yes, then I will go ahead and film that video. So that is going to be it for me today. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. If you have any questions, feel free to you know the drill, post them down below. And if you like the video, make sure to subscribe for more. I am here every once in a while. I usually pop up on your interwebs. I don't have a normal posting schedule, but what I do have is you can click that little red bell and you can get an email notification when I upload new content. I do hauls, I do vlogs, I do stuff about home organization, I do planning, I do budgeting, lots of other things and anything else that kind of strikes my fancy. So I hope to see you guys around for the next video and I will see See you all very, very soon. Bye, guys. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so